The first step to boosting your chances of showing up on Google Search and Google Maps is to verify your business. Google verification is something that's obviously very important for any business, but it can sometimes be difficult to get. Many times you run into problems with the methods that Google provides. The most commonly offered method is verification with a code via phone number or postcard. Unfortunately, many times you don't get the codes to the phone number provided and in the case of postcards, they get lost in the mail or mistaken for junk mail and thrown out. Without that code, achieving verification can be difficult. Fortunately, there are ways that you can verify your business profile if you don't get the codes. In this video, I'll walk you through a real example of a business that has requested multiple codes without receiving a single one. With a few simple steps, we are able to verify the business. In my experience, this is always a process that works quickly with little to no hesitation on the part of Google. With these steps, the verification is approved and your business listing goes live within a matter of days. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on all notifications. Now let's get started. If this is your first time of listing your business on Google and you want a full tutorial on how to create a good business profile, check out the video I made on that. The link is in the description. If your Google business profile is not verified, your profile is not available to the public and this is what you see not publicly visible. On the right side of the screen, you can see it's blank. No business information shows and there's nothing for the public to see. This is a business profile created for a local fashion brand in Ulta, Ogun State, Nigeria. If you can verify your business the first time, the Get Verified button shows up again. Click the button and try and verify again with the same verification method or choose a different verification method if you have other options. The available methods include phone by text or call, email, video recording, live video call or postcard. The verification method that is available to you depends on your business category, your location, public info, your region, support hours and volumes. For most businesses, you are given one to three verification options, mostly phone, email and postcard. In our case, these are the options we have, phone and email options. In your case, it can be any of the email or phone options or postcard, video call or live video call. I believe you tried the first method before and it did not work, retry it a second time. For example, if you have phone number option, you can change your phone number or add another phone number as a second number. Go to edit profile and add your phone number. Make that new phone number the primary phone number. Now repeat the phone verification process with the new phone number and see if it works. If you still don't get the verification code sent to you, then you have to try the other verification method. Select the second verification option that is available below the first option. In our case, we have email option. Click that and as you can see, the email has a google.com extension. There is no way to change this to Gmail, which makes this unusable. If you have postcard option and you did not get the postcard the first time, request for another code via postcard. You have to wait for another 14 days to get it. If after selecting all options that you have and nothing seems to work, then you should try the instant verification method with Google Search Console. If your business has a website on your own domain, you can verify the domain with Google Search Console. Once you verify your domain, you get instant verification. Make sure you add the domain to your business profile if you have not done so. Go to Edit Profile, and then scroll down to the website space. Enter the domain and check. Now go to Google and search for Google Search Console. Click this link and it opens the Google Search Console page. Make sure that you are using the same email as the one your business profile is on. Now add the domain name here and click continue. You get a TST verification code to add to your domain name registrar's DNS configuration field. Copy this and log into your domain registrar account. I'm using Namecheap, so I'll log into Namecheap, then click Advanced DNS. As you can see, there's an existing TST record. I'm going to delete this. Then click Add New Record. Select TST Record. Then host Add the Add Symbol. And then under Value, paste the TST code. Check to confirm. Now go back to Google Search Console and click Verify. Now you can see the domain is verified. After that, wait some 30 minutes to 24 hours 
and log in back into your Google Business Profile account. Click Get Verified or Enter Code. Your account will be verified and you can instantly edit your profile and connect with your customers. Most of the time, this solves your verification problems. If you don't own a website or this doesn't work for you, the only option left is to contact Google support for help. Usually, when all options fail, this works. Go to your business profile page and continue to click on enter code or get verified and then cancel out of this. Click on it again and then click out of it. Do this many times for any available options you have. After so many tries, you will get this. No more ways to verify and you are to contact support. Click the contact support link and this will take you to the Google Business Help Center. There are three steps to complete. First step, which business do you need help with? Select the right business profile. Tell us what we can help you with. Enter some information and click Next. Choose the best description that match what you need help with. I will choose Can't Verify by Email or Phone. Then click Next Step. The second step is Resources. You can check out some of these resources, but I'm going to click Next Step. Then the next step is Contact Options. Here, you'll be given different options to contact support. In our case, it's email. Depending on your location or your business, there are other options like phone or video call. Choose any option that you have or prefer. I'm going to click on the only option that I have, which is email. Now, we need to provide some information they need. Name. Enter your real name, not your business name. Enter your email address. Enter the business name. Make sure it's the same business name, the same that is on your business profile. Enter business address. Make sure it matches exactly what you added to the profile. Your relation to the business. They want to know if you are the owner or you are doing it on behalf of the owner and others. I will choose owner. Then official business email. I'm going to add the same email I added before. Now you are to upload photo of the front of your business showing your signage. You need to take photos of the front of your office or shop showing your business signage and upload that. Picture of front shop showing adjacent shop fronts and their signage. Here you can take the photo of your office building showing other nearby businesses and their signage. So take a photo and make sure other businesses signage and your office signage shows in the frame. Photo of front shop from across the street showing address markers. Here, take a photo of your building showing the street name if possible and the address number and upload that. Upload any relevant proof. Here, you can just take different other photos of the building, the inside of your building, the signage and many other photos, put them in a folder and zip it up and then upload that. Now, consent to having your information shared. Select country, in my case, of course, Nigeria. Add your website address if you have one. Phone number, then more proof. Here, you can upload more photos showing you and your business operation. Now, confirm that everything is right and click Submit. Now, after a working day or two, you should get an email from support. They will let you know if you are approved or not, or if you need to send more information. In this case, I was asked to confirm affiliation with the business and to add a corporate business email. Usually, this is where a video verification is needed. I will advise you to record a short one to two minute videos of your business with your mobile phone and upload it. Make sure you record it in one continuous recording. Capture yourself walking them through your business operation with your staff in the background if you have some staff, here, we created a short video of the business owner talking and showing inside the shop, the management area, the staff, equipment, some of the fashion designs, and then outside the shop showing the signage and you can see across the street. This video will help a lot. Attach that to the email. If you have a website on your domain name, you can also provide them a business email like mail at domain.com. If you don't have a business email, just tell them that you don't have one. Provide enough information, provide some other photos and attach it to the email and click submit and wait for their reply. If you provide enough information, they should be approved. 
Now, after a working day or two, log into your Google Business Profile and click Get Verified or Enter Code. And as you can see, the business has been approved. Click Next, then Next again. You might be given some advertising credit and you can choose to claim it. Now you can see your edit will be visible. And now your business is now visible and you can go ahead and edit your business information. Add your product, upload business photos and so on. Your business is now available on Google search and on Google Maps for everyone to see. So this is how to get your Google business profile verified. If you follow the steps, you can have your business verified in a matter of days. So this is how to solve your Google business profile verification issues. Go ahead and try this and get your Google business profile verified. If you have questions or need help with something as you do this, don't hesitate to drop me a message in the comment section. Click to watch other related videos below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.